gentlemen, welcome along to another review from us. This time, it is all about the new Kubota R090 Pivot Steer Loader. And I suppose you could say this machine effectively replaces the old R085 Loader. And with that, it brings quite a few new things. So we've got this new cab, particularly the layout of the cab. It looks substantially different from its predecessor. It's got the stage five engine in the back now. And the loader arms have been uh, redesigned as well. So they've got a bit more of a crank in there. And I think it's what Kubota calls its delta arms. So in terms of a few facts and figures on this loader, it pretty much has an operating weight of about five tons. I think it's just over. And it's also got a 3.9 ton straight tipping load and it's got a full turn tipping load of about 3.4 tons. Lift out to the pivot point of the pins uh, at the end of the loader. I think that is about 3.2 meters. And providing all the power, as you can imagine, it is a Kubota engine in the back of this machine. It's a four cylinder. 2.6 litre and that produces about 64 horsepower or just a shade over and then coupled to that we have a two range hydrostatic transmission now also in the range which shares the same chassis as this machine there's also the r070 which has as you can imagine it's got uh, slightly less horsepower and slightly less uh, lift capacity so as you can see, it is a fixed boom machine. And if you've seen one of our other reviews of that uh, Bobcat machine, which I think was the L85, I think from memory, if you go and have a look at that video, uh, on paper, this machine and that machine are very similar spec wise. So it will be interesting to see what this machine is like compared to that Bobcat and vice versa. As we found with the Bobcat, you know, particularly for that extra flexibility, that extra lift height, yeah, it would be good to have an option of a teleboom. And again, you just never know. It may come, it may not with uh, with Kubota and this machine. But for now, we've got this uh, this fixed boom machine. So I think without further ado, that's enough chit chat about the background of the machine. We'll uh, we'll now crack on and uh, see what else we can find. to a bit of hydraulics and handling chat. So yeah, as I mentioned, it's got the fixed boom design, which comes with this uh, Z linkage. But, I mean, for all intents and purposes, it looks a lot like uh, a mini loading shovel. And with that Z bar linkage, I mean, especially if you've never really tried a machine with this Z bar linkage, what you get is 